MJ, hey, you mind if I toss a kind of thorny ethical question at you? When is it okay to give up on a friend? Oh, wow, Pete. Thinking of Otto? That obvious, huh? Yeah, understandable, though. Man, the high-minded, generous part of me wants to say never. Being a true friend means being there, even when people lose their way. But with what Otto's done, I just don't know, Pete. I guess you have to decide if the Otto Octavius you knew is still in there or not. Maybe if he was ever even in there at all. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, MJ. I gotta process some stuff, I think. Call me anytime, Pete. I'm here for you. Hello. There's got to be something we can do about that scrap. Right, Spidey? Okay. I need to get after Scorpion, but I haven't seen Aunt May face to face since the fire. I think I can afford a quick pit stop at Feast. Right over here. Until Miles gets back, the best thing we can do is keep everyone fed. Oh, Peter, it is so good to see you. How are you? Healthy? I'm good. How are you holding up, May? Good, but busy. Oh, let me go. <coughs> oh. oh, there. <coughs> I'm okay. Didn't you tell me something once about accepting that I'm human just like everyone else? You and Ben. <coughs> Masters at turning my own words against me. I am fine, Peter. Just a little rundown. Where's Miles? Could he help out? No, oh, he is. He's off picking up medical supplies from the relief center. It's amazing how quickly we go through antibiotics. Okay. You stay off your feet for a bit. I'll organize the unloading and check in with Miles. Deal? Deal. Give me a chance to nurse my wounded Parker pride. Come on, Miles, answer. Don't make me worry about you and me. Quiet, quiet. So much fun. 
for a milk run. How did a bunch of convicts even do this? Looks like an exploding bulldozer went through here. I can't turn back. Beast needs those antibiotics. You hear the sound his head made when the big guy hit him? Like a bug on a windshield. Splat. All because he made one stupid crack about the guy's suit. Freaking intense. Dude's got issues, man. Big ones. Who's there? Nothing sweeter than seeing cops around. Huh. Guess I'm hearing things. I heard that. Better hurry. Should be able to hug that wall. <clears throat> Medical containers in that tent. Maybe this will be easy. Even the way he came through here, guys like an animal. Both of them are. You two, get over here. All right, all right, all right. Gaz, iodine, but no antibiotics. Need to keep looking. Glad the boss took this contract. Hate the city, but the pay is great. A lot of catching up to do. Continuing sweep. Who's there? This can stop right now. Just give us the locations and schedules for your supply points. I don't have that information. Believe me. I More supplies over there. Need to get past these guys. Just give us the info and we'll stop. Don't have clearance for that. Oh, buddy. That's not what Benson wants to hear. Stupid tin man! Depot locations? Eventually. Looks like they're gonna Another see supply the supplies. Oh, crossing fingers. Oh boy. You better not try to short us. Hey, you guys better not try to short us. Bro, relax. Everybody gets a take. Nobody's trying to short you. That's just what they say when they're trying to short you. Dude, please don't embarrass me. Chill, please. I'm watching these jokers. Yeah, I'm watching them. A coffee. Probably shouldn't have burned down the bodega. A couple trauma kits, but no antibiotics. Gotta be somewhere. Gotta avoid that sniper.
found the exploding bulldozer. Supply loops and schedules. Now! Gas out! Gentlemen, I apologize. My associate is inelegant. He doesn't understand the fine art of persuasion. Did not need to see that. What was that? Check it. Now. I think he saw me. Time to get out of here. Sneak beneath him. Come out, small one. He'll spot me if I don't distract him. Alexei, find all who hide. It is not of use. We are having fun with lights now? I will have fun with your face. Come out, and I promise not to crush you. Please don't see me. Please don't see me. my exit. Near the opening.
Guess you let me know I have these. Just give us the wall! Hey, leave him alone! Big mistake, kid. You can't just push people around like that. Or what? Like this? Haha, <laughs> kids Why? got guts. Hip squared. What the hell's he saying? Not gonna be saying anything in a second. <laughs> oh! You want a taste? Nah, I'm good, kid. You want a taste? I gotta work on my fight banner. Miles? Hey, I've been trying to reach you. You okay? Hey, so, uh, don't freak out, but, um, I gotta fill you in on some stuff. Incredible work, Miles. Stick close to Feast. If the convicts get desperate, they may try to raid the shelter. Way ahead of you. Anything else happens here, I'll let you know. Great. Thanks, Miles. Yuri, figured out Rhino's deal. He's attacking Oscorp's relief centers. Think I know which one he's hitting next. Reports of a possible earthquake and or demolition derby at the Harlem Center. Sounds like our boy. Headed there now. You holding up okay? Tired. But hanging in there. We'll get through this. Keep the faith. that this rhino person always knocks down buildings and tears up roads, which someone ends up making money rebuilding? Am I suggesting a conspiracy? You're damn right! Now, if you've seen the man testify in court, you know the rhino is too stupid to plan anything himself. So who's the mastermind? Well, who else is always there? Supposedly fighting rhino, but actually leading him around like a red cape does a bull. Say it with me, Spider-Man! Someone your own size, Rhino. There is no one my size, folk. Or maybe you 
could just talk it out. Rhino, what's with the team up? We thought you were a loner. That means that ends hope. All of life is beef and egg. So what's the end for these particular means? Freedom. True freedom. No more suit. No more rhino. Okay, Rhino. Let's wrap this up. Never send an eight-ton infant to do a man's job. Let's finish this. Oh, Scorps, love you, but you do know it's rude to cut in, right? What were you gonna do if I didn't show up? Beg him to give up? Yes, Garget, that is exactly what I would have done. Ah, like an old married couple, you two! Promise you, Scorpion. Oh, Gargan has no principle. He fights for profit. Country. Mm. I'd rip Spider-Man's face off for free. The money. Gargan, what are you doing?
Down. Now's my chance. Do you know what Octavius will do if he finds out you failed? I failed? Yes, you, freak show! might help you boys learn to play nice. All right, Yuri, that's four down. Just Octavius and Lee left. Something tells me they won't be as easy. They're only half our problem, though. Devil's Breath cases are getting worse, and Oscorp is being coy about an anti-serum. I'm worried they're seeing dollar signs in a seller's market. I'd expect nothing less from our beloved mayor. Leave Devil's Breath to me. One of my best people is on it. state and federal databases. If this Devil's Breath lab does exist, it's off the books. The only other place I can think to look is in Norman's personal files. I've already been through his office computer. Are you thinking his penthouse? That building's full of Sable's men. If they spot me, other residents could get hurt in a firefight. I know, but I might be able to get in undetected. I can sneak in, find the lab's location, and get out. If anything goes wrong, I'll call you for backup. Okay. It's risky, but we need that location. Wait for me to get nearby, then make your move. I'll be ready. My friends, the Rhino and the Scorpion are back behind bars. But only after wreaking unimaginable havoc in a reckless rampage with Spider-Man. Hopefully, they'll never see daylight again. But we need to be ready if they do. Normal humans can't stand against the likes of the Rhino. So, here's my proposal. You've heard of police dogs, right? Now bear with me. We train, outfit, and deploy police rhinoceroses. You got a rhino? We got a rhino too, baby! Okay, MJ, I'm a couple blocks away. Let me know if you get into trouble. Thanks, Pete. Wish me luck. Okay, Norman's penthouse is on the top floor, but the elevator's on lockdown. Need to get into the security room to unlock it. Excuse me. The lobby seems pretty busy. Is everything okay? Residents have been asked to uh, temporarily vacate their units while Sable International performs a security sweep. Have people been waiting down here long? No, no. Only one or 
two hours. We all greatly appreciate Sable International's generous assistance with security. Has the penthouse been affected? Oh my, no. The new security room in the back of the lobby ensures that the mayor remains totally undisturbed. I don't understand why we had to clear the entire floor. It's because Sable took over building security. Routine sweep, they're calling it. Checking for weapons or explosives or something. All this just to make Osborne feel safer. He'll never survive this. Next election, he'll get destroyed. Maybe. I've seen Osborne survive worse. He is a cockroach. An arrogant cockroach in a starched suit. Don't let his Gestapo hear you. They'll lock you up. <laughs> I'd like to see them try. Mayor Osborne really lives here? I never see him. Yeah, that elevator goes straight to his penthouse. Pretty sure he's up there right now. There's the security room, but that guard will see me if I go in. Residents are pretty upset. Maybe I can rile them up to create a distraction. How come Osborne never has to vacate his apartment for security sweeps? He's got some fancy new system installed in the back security room. No sweeps needed, they say. Plus, you know, he's the mayor. What a jerk. He's definitely lost my vote. We stay down here. We risk catching that plague. Definitely stay away from the receptionist. Been coughing up a storm. What? They have to let us back upstairs. You can't treat us like animals. If I get sick, I'll sue you into the ground. Let us upstairs before we all catch the disease. Off limits, ma'am. Why isn't Osborne down here? This sort of thing never happens to him. The mayor and his friends are exempt. Security let one of his biggest donors back upstairs right away. I knew it. It's all one big boys club. Come on. Left my stupid inhaler upstairs. I heard they'll let you up if you claim special circumstances. The health emergency might do it. Really? Come on, let's go talk to security. That should do it. Oh, crap. Jerry, get out of here. We got a situation. Oh, man. I can't breathe. Let me back up. Security upstairs. room's open. Just need to get to the door without being seen. Everyone, please stay calm. Sable International has nearly finished their sweep. Off limits, ma'am. Need to go around. That's what you said an hour ago. I know this is frustrating, but please remember, Sable is doing this for your safety. More like Osborne's safety. Please, everyone, please, remain calm. Just don't see why you guys need to be back here. Because you run a cops are incompetent. Alarms every other minute. And where's your stun gun? You aren't even ready to work. Man, I, I set it down. Somewhere. I, I swear, I Swear just... your way out of here. We're in charge now. Okay, okay, I'm gone. Hello? I know a few Sable agents who would love to meet you. <sighs> Multi-million dollar building with network speeds from 1995. <sighs> Ridiculous. I like this thing. Got 
gotta turn him around. Good boy. I'm sure Sable offers workman's comp. Elevator controls in the security room, next to the Sable agent. Mary Jane Watson? Super spy. Time to unlock that elevator. That did it. Norman's clearing out, and the elevator's unlocked. Time to head upstairs. Penthouse elevator. This is it. Norman and Sable, right on cue. Find the alarm ticket. Stupid useless button. Guards have all cleared out. If he's hiding something up here, I'm gonna find it. Warning. Fire doors engaged. Automated self-diagnostic commencing. Please remain calm. What is this thing? Hmm. Schematics for a prototype combat mask. Looks like it can reveal structural weaknesses. Whoa. This mask is incredible. Is it showing a door hidden in that wall? Wonder where it leads. Blueprint for the apartment. Tons of empty space right behind the wall with a family portrait. Who leaves space unused in a Manhattan apartment? Sable presence downstairs just ballooned. I think Norman's being moved. Worried they might spot me. I might have had something to do with that. Keep your distance. I should be okay for now. Work order for a keypad lock. Looks like he used Harry's last day as the code. That must be the day Harry left for Europe. Doors are locked till the system check finishes. Scientific journals debating the Spider-Man problem. <laughs> so weird there's a whole cottage industry focused on explaining Pete's powers. Weirder still that Norman is such an active part of it. Norman bids his son farewell. Huh. This must be from when Harry left for Europe last year. Why was Norman so dramatic about a trip to Europe? C 
secret keypad behind the family portrait. Norman must like spy movies. Norman could be back any minute. Need to find that keypad code. Harry's last day. I know he left last summer, but was it July or August? Harry kept a journal. Maybe he recorded the date there. <sighs> Forgot about this. The Osbournes have a coat of arms and a motto. Pax in Bellow. Peace in War. <sighs> Gotta remember that if I ever write a book about all of this. Harry said his mom used to cook all the time. I'd be surprised if Norman has ever even touched the stove. This room smells like... rich people. Wonder if all this wine is from Norman's vineyard in Burgundy. City's in a state of emergency, but Norman still manages to get his laundry and cleaning done for him. <laughs> what a hero. Hey, Dad. On my way to Dr. Michael's for one last shot before the, um, the big trip. Um, uh, hey, if you're gonna meet me there, could you grab my journal from my room? I just wanted to record some thoughts on the big... Bon voyage day. <laughs> uh, anyway. Listen, I know I don't say this enough, but... Thank you, Dad. You know, for doing this. I love you. Wow. Haven't heard Harry's voice in so long. He sounds so... tired. Let's hope that journal is still here. Gotta check his room. Look at all this. Norman certainly likes to remind guests of his status. A photo was removed, though. Wonder what was there. God, Pete and I loved coming over here to watch movies when we were kids. A different world from Queens. Funny how Harry always wanted the opposite. Nothing made him happier than watching cartoons on the little TV in May's kitchen. This is kind of cute. Norman keeps all the campaign buttons from his races. There's one for school board. And he's left room for more. Setting your sights higher, Norman? Norman and Otto. Wow. They look like they used to be so close. What could have ruined a friendship like this? Harry's mom, Emily. We used to make fun of him for calling her the prettiest mom at Midtown, but he might have been right. Feels like there's something attached to the back of the frame. Score! This must be the key for Harry's room. Norman's bathroom is bigger than my entire apartment. Now I feel sad. Ugh, Norman would have a pool. New York is about subway rats and street pizza, not sunbathing and umbrella drinks.
I used to be so jealous of Harry's family. They were so happy. At least compared to me and my dad. But when Emily got sick, everything changed. Oh man, look at us. We used to be so carefree. I miss those days. Happy birthday, dear. Sorry, I'm a little late. It's been a busy month. I miss you, Em. Especially today. I've put Harry... I've sent him away. For treatment. We'll fix him, Em. I promise. Development of GR-27 was too slow to save you. It won't fail, Harry. I'm keeping his room exactly as it is, ready for when he gets back. The key is with you, Em. I know you keep it safe. Wait, Norman sent Harry away for treatment? I thought he went to Europe on his own. What were you hiding from us, Harry? Emily's terminal diagnosis. I know Harry's mom was sick, but I had no idea it was genetic. Did Harry ever get tested? Can't be for Harry, can it? Why didn't you tell us you were sick? Law books. Harry wants to be an environmental attorney, like his mom. Harry's journal. His last entry is marked July 18. That must be the code to that room.
I am saying we should not rush off without a plan. We? You are staying here. The antiserum is ready, and I'm going to supervise production. You will be completely vulnerable without me. I seem to be completely vulnerable with you. I'm going alone. End of discussion. Keep Team 2 on standby. I'm getting some air. Pete, Norman's cure is ready. He's headed to the lab it's at now. Can you follow? Not without alerting him. Somebody spiked Sable's coffee today. Her men are set on double secret probation alert. Okay, then stay ready. I've almost got the location. July 18. Bingo. Super creepy. Gotta find the location of the Devil's Breath Lab. Something in this room must be useful. What are these things? Prototype hand grenades? Spiders? Is Norman trying to reverse engineer Peter's abilities? The labels on these cages bioelectrokinesis, optical camouflage? What the hell is he trying to create? Norman Osborne, GR27 Research Log. The whole project has gone to hell. GR27 is a cure. Not a disease, but try telling that to the evening news. Somehow, they've picked up the technician's morbid nickname, Devil's Breath, and are using it to stoke hysteria. They have no idea what it's really capable of. A cure for cancer, genetic disorders, birth defects. With just a little more research, I know we could perfect it. Instead, I'll spend the next 18 months on PR mop-up. What a waste of time. Devil's Breath isn't a disease. It's an attempt at a cure? I almost can't believe it. Harry and Emily's medical records. GR-27 was developed to treat them. Devil's Breath is a failed cure for Norman's own family. child's x-ray, but it's not Harry or Emily. Who is this? That aura around him. Is this Martin Lee? got a real mad scientist thing going on.
Wow. Norman wins the fancy map contest. Looks like the Upper West Side. Looks like Norman's tracking Dr. Michael's movements. Creep fest. <sighs> Kinda makes sense, though. Michael's is the lead on Devil's Breath. Huh. This shows all of Oscorp's properties. Had no idea they owned so much of New York. Sable troop deployments. They're stationed all over the city. I bet I can find the Devil's Breath lab with this. It must be an Oscorp property with a ton of Sable protection, frequented by Dr. Michaels. Commercial buildings. Wow. So many records facilities. Oscorp's going all in on defense research. No. Norman's not crazy enough to keep the anti-serum in a shopping center. A records facility could be perfect cover for the Devil's Breath Lab. Oscorp's going all in on defense research. Dr. Strom... Isn't he a robotics expert? No movement from Dr. Van Adder. Must be out of the city. No. Norman's not crazy enough to keep the anti-serum in a shopping center. Dr. Michaels leads the Devil's Breath team. Wherever the anti-serum is, he must have been too. Bravo, bravo, bravo. And this must be the C team. Good ol' Alpha team. No. I need to track Michaels. Van Adder is a dead end. Dr. Michaels leads the Devil's Breath team. Wherever the anti-serum is, he must have been too. Devil's Breath Lab must have a big Sable presence. A records facility could be perfect cover for the Devil's Breath Lab. Nope, that's just a Sable patrol. Dr. Michaels went to this Oscorp building, but there's no security detail. This can't be it. Oscorp building, but no Michaels or Sable. That's not it. Don't think I've chosen the right categories. GR-27! That's the code name for Devil's Breath! This is it! Tenth and Cathedral. Isn't that... I knew it! Tenth and Cathedral, Oscorp's records department. <laughs> Perfect place to hide a secret biotech facility. GR-27 Martin Lee incident. What is this? And we are rolling. I will be right next door. Just relax and let the medicine do its work. created Lee. I, I have to get this. No! Who's there? Oh, no. Have a breach. High alert.
Pete, I've got the lab location. And a lot more. How far away are you? Two avenues over. Say the word and I'm there. Great. Keep the motor running. Need to clear that balcony. You're amazing. <laughs> it's all so much to take in. Harry sick, Norman and Lee. And Dr. Octavius? I know. This is all my fault. No, not this song again. You are not alone anymore, Pete. Let Miles and me look after Feast. You... you find Norman. You find the cure. Thanks. Partner. to get that anti-serum and start putting things right. There must be some way to reach Leonardo. Convince them to give up this crusade for revenge. They've both done so much good for the world. They can't throw their legacies away just to spite Norman. Okay, Norman's on his way to get the anti-serum. Better update Yuri. I hope this is good news. It is. Oscorp just created an anti-serum. There's a cure? Oh, thank God. How quickly can we get it to people? I'm on my way to find out. The lab is at 10th and Cathedral. Wait. I just got a report of a helicopter going down in that area. Oh no. That could be Norman's helicopter. I'd send officers your way, but I don't have any. Don't worry. I'm on it. This'll all be over soon. I promise. <laughs> 